So first of all, you're giving me way too much credit. You really, really are. So I'll put that out there first. Second of all, if we look at where I started in bodybuilding and then evolved into powerlifting, strongman, general population, dysfunctional coaching, you start seeing a wide array of drug metabolism consequence. Once you start seeing people getting uh, tremors and people having actual hallucinations off of 10 milligrams of trenblone or taking a Tylenol and having a faux stroke kind of heart attack type thing or getting you know COVID as a good example and having heart failure, mm -hmm. you start realizing drug metabolism is so drastically different from person to person. There's that biological inter-individuality that makes it so, I hate when people say, like, oh, we're a special snowflake. We kind of are. I have IFB mm -hmm. pros, for example, that can take a gram of trend and their EGFR goes from 75 to 106. I also have the same person who can go ahead and they'll take, you know, whatever, baby aspirin, their blood will get so thin that they'll bleed out if they get a cut.